as the time progressed, I know that I'm closer to finally fulfill my dream and I keep looking for names and now I just can't think how my baby's gonna look. And thinking about how my baby's gonna look is important. I mean depends your case if you gonna use a sperm donor. It took me a long time to decide. Um the first thing it was trying to be okay what bank I gonna use. And I went back and forward. It took me about two months and a half, almost three, to decide. And um, I watched videos. I read. They had different um, prices, different uh, services. Some have more one than other, and some won't, some have more um, better rate than the other. Of course, the one that I like the better was the most expensive one. And then I went to the second one because they told me rather to go by donor and not by bank. You know, what I read or whatever. It still, it was a really kind of like hard process and I was talking with my partner. It was a little kind of like, she was there but she was like leaving it to me. She didn't care about the look of the baby and... Um, for see the pictures in most of the uh, banks, you have to um, pay for it extra. And every other service that you want, you have to pay extra. And when it becomes, you know, you're going to pay probably over $2,000 for a while. And I don't have that money. I mean, going sometime with a cheaper option doesn't mean that it's bad. So, I didn't see the pictures I really was encouraged through all that I saw and I read to pick at least three donors. Like, don't fall in love with one because you never know what's going to happen. And sure enough, I'm glad that I did pick three because the first donor that I have on mine, um, the bios sold out. So I went with my second option. And how did I pick my donor? Uh, well, they have uh, voice interviews, they have essays. They have uh, the uh, different kind of tests. And I was just looking at everything. And I discovered that when the donors have better uh, professions and higher IQ, they're more expensive. So this donor went on sale. He have too many bottles. And when I check, you know, I was like, why? I think, I don't know if it's true. I, in my personal opinion, it's because he's still a student. He, his IQ and his um, GPA is not that high, but I really fell in love with everything that he answered the question, his essay, what he was doing, donating, his family background. Of course, I check the diseases. That's really very important that you check. And um, I say, okay, so this is my donor, even though it was the second option. So for some reason, when I download the pa the package of everything and print it, I don't know what happened. I saw his picture later on after a few uh, like after like four or five weeks of that, and it's different because as a human nature, you're gonna judge by looks, and I'm really happy of my donor. Now, if I were to see the picture first, eh, probably I wouldn't pick that donor. But at this point, I just want a healthy baby, and and I really like the quality of human that he projected in that paper. That doesn't mean that it's true or not. I mean, hopefully it is. Um, but there is things that carry, some that they, they don't carry. Ultimately, it's going to depend how you raise your kid, the morals and values that you give to them. So when you're going to do that, determine what is important. A high IQ, a good GPS at really uh, fulfill or good, you know, prestigious profession doesn't mean they're going to give you a healthy baby. It doesn't really mean that you're going to have a really good human being because at the end of the day, everything puts past and you can have everything in the world. But if you don't have a good heart, nothing else matters. And even yesterday, I was just checking, and I was like, you know, while I'm more, more read and more I'm closer, and my babies are already created, they're frozen. I really 
more feeling in love with this donor and I'm really grateful. I you know his identity is um on this closer so is partial on animals because when I have my kids so my kids if they wanna um contact their donor once they reach eighteen they can do it. But me I can't have you know know anything and I really that was something that me and my partner really discussed because me personally I don't care but I can't choose for another human being and to me it was really important that if they want to look for that connection or they want to look or anything they can have that option open so that was one of the first thing that I um, look for it now my first donor um, was half Puerto Rican and I won that Latin flavor unfortunately you know Everything happened for a reason. Now, this one is Irish and American. And I'm okay with that. He's six something, which I was trying to look for a smaller donor. My other donor was like 5'3 or 5'4 or something like that. Um, and something that I'm going to be guilty and I'm going to admit it that I was looking, I was looking for light eyes. That doesn't mean that my baby's going to have green eyes or anything, but. You know, and I did try to avoid um, black hair just because my hair is dark. So I didn't want to really blonde and the donor end up being a little blonde. But it's just, you know, I was just, okay, black, no. I was trying to get somebody with red hair. So it's going to be uh, really particular for everyone. What are your needs or what your wants? Um, they have uh, the clinic or the bank that you choose to have different programs my opinion if they're gonna advise to you is that if you want that to look like your partner or like your husband or whatever the case might be try to first uh, choose few donors and try to um, take what is important another thing is that uh, I was trying to somebody was open with the LGBT community just in case you know the kid tried to look for the dad and is there okay that they have two moms or whatever so that to me was really something important and both of the donors that I have they have I'm taking that and the first one that was the main thing that didn't work but it was just you know that he was uh, supporter of the LGBT and his sister was doing a little uh, community work in LGBT that doesn't matter because that's not my donor but this donor that I have is really uh, open-minded for what I read um, and I really like it I just think that my baby is gonna have wonderful and a lot of the things you know in creativity and um, openness and out you know being easy going we are really alike so even though it's somebody that I don't know a lot of my personality traits are like kind of similar so I'm happy about that and some like really few are compelled with my partner me and my partners are really opposite on a lot, of, a lot of things and i'm glad you know at the beginning i was kind of like you know trying to get her involved but i'm glad that she let me you know you know i don't care about the looks and she let me kind of like pick and the other day she told me you know what you did an amazing job picking the donor and that just made me really happy anyway um just look for it there is a i can't just talk about this and get emotional and it's just it's just i'm sorry guys it's just i know this is gonna happen and it's just closer and i just now having a lot of all the things in mind instead of um you know like oh my god when i'm gonna have a baby when it's gonna happen will never this i will never be a mom like now it's just thinking in all these other things like and I know some families they have really problem with the with the donor and my mom I you know I sent the picture to my mom whatever after I pick it and my mom was like oh you know he looks like a really nice guy so but ultimately try to decide with your heart know what is convenient and I'm gonna tell you if you try to do that that is wrong but try to put in a paper what is the most important things for you when you're gonna pick your donor because you are not gonna have everything I had to sacrifice the high which 
you know, I was because my family in my dad's side, uh, they're really tall. So I was trying to get somebody just because I didn't have a really big belly and all of that. You know, stupid things that you think. But anyway, um, I just want to share with you guys this because I know that some, you know, some of you go through this and some of you might be interested in how I pick my donor. Ciao.